good day children sairam in today's class we will discuss the questions and answers of chapter number 7 mary curie <coughs> children i have already explained the chapter to you we have learned about mary's childhood and how she dealt with all the hardships and tragedies in her life and became a great scientist wasn't the story inspiring children okay so now we will discuss frame the sentences past tense opposites or antonyms and questions and answers from this chapter so let's begin okay frame the sentences first word is appetite okay the spelling is a p p e t i t e okay um so the sentence is he has a great appetite for learning appetite he has a great appetite for learning appetite he has a great appetite for learning second word genius g e n i u s genius there are many do genius doctors in india there are many genius doctors in india there are many genius doctors in india third word afflicted a f f l i c t e d afflicted she was afflicted with a serious disease she was afflicted with a serious disease she was afflicted with a serious disease fourth word boisterous b o i s t e r o u s boisterous most of the children were boisterous in the classroom most of the children were boisterous in the classroom forbidden f o r b i d d e n forbidden she was forbidden to leave the house as a punishment she was forbidden to leave the house as a punishment she was forbidden to leave the house as a punishment okay now second question is opposites okay so the first word is aware and the opposite of aware is unaware aware unaware aware unaware second word is curable and the opposite of curable is incurable curable incurable curable incurable third word youngest and the opposite of youngest is eldest youngest eldest youngest eldest the fourth word is respect and the opposite of respect is disrespect respect disrespect respect disrespect okay now let's look at the past tense 
Okay, first word interrogate and the past tense of interrogate is interrogated. I N T E R R O G A T E D interrogated. Interrogate, interrogated. Interrogate, interrogated. Second word, exhaust. And the past tense of exhaust is exhausted. E X H A U S T E D exhausted. Exhaust, exhausted. Exhaust, exhausted. Third word, horrify. And the past tense uh, for horrify is horrified. H O R R I F I E D. Horrified. Horrify, horrified. Horrify, horrified. Fourth word, astonish. And the past tense of astonish is astonished. A S T O N I S H E D. Astonished. Astonish. Astonished. Astonish. Astonished. Fifth word, frighten. And the past tense of frighten is frightened. F R I G H T E N E D frightened frighten frightened frighten frightened <coughs> Okay now children let's uh, go through the uh, answers question and answers fourth question answer the following First question, why did the Sklodowska family study together? <coughs> I repeat the question, why did the Sklodowska family study together? And the answer is, the Sklodowska family studied together so that the parents who were who were both teachers could help them with their homework answer the sklodowska family studied together so that the parents who were both teachers could help them with their homework Second question, what did Bloody Shaw Sklodowska want to ensure for his children? Question 2, what did Bloody Shaw Sklodowska want to ensure for his children? Answer, Bloody Shaw Sklodowska wanted to ensure that his children grew up with a respect for education. Answer, Vladishaw Sklodowska wanted to ensure that his children grew up with a respect for education. <coughs> Question 3. When was Mary born and what was so special about her as a child? Question 3. When was Mary born and what was so special about her as a child? And the answer is... <coughs> Mary was born on November 7, 1867 and she began to read 
fluently as a child answer mary was born on november 7 1867 and she began to read fluently as a child okay question 4 What was the greatest tragedy of Mary's life? I repeat, what was the greatest tragedy of Mary's life? And the answer is the greatest tragedy of Mary's life was that her mother died a few months before her 11th birthday. answer the greatest tragedy of mary's life was that her mother died a few months before her 11th birthday question 5 what was mary's dream as a child i repeat what was Mary's dream as a child answer Mary's dream as a child was to use science and medicine to help humanity Mary's dream as a child was to use med- use science and medicine to help humanity Uh, okay children now uh, revise all these questions uh, questions and answers uh, and the objectives very well uh, read the chapter several times and see you in the next class thank you children